Ubuntu versus Big Linux, which is more secure? Is your Linux distro a digital fortress or an open door? Today we pit Ubuntu, the household name, against Big Linux, the rising and slightly mysterious challenger, to find out which one actually protects your data when it matters most. Quick frame. What secure means here? When we talk about security, we mean several things. Default attack surface, what ships installed. Sandboxing and isolation, how fast and reliably security fixes arrive. How easy it is for you to harden the system. And how much official slash community support there is when something goes wrong. Ubuntu's security posture, the strengths. Built-in sandboxing and confinement. Ubuntu uses app armor to confine apps and reduce what a compromised program can do. Ubuntu's snap packaging further ties into app armor, set comp, and namespaces to restrict apps by design. These systems reduce the blast radius if a single app is exploited. Formal CVE and patching processes. Canonical maintains an official CVE tracking and Ubuntu security notices pipeline. Vulnerabilities are cataloged and patched with standard public notices. For enterprise and production users, this formal process and transparency matters a lot. Enterprise features and kernel hardening options. Canonical publishes security improvements, e.g. app armor updates, tighter user namespace defaults, and offers things like live kernel patching and prioritized CVE handling for paid slash supporting customers, useful for servers and high-risk systems. Practical effect. Out-of-the-box Ubuntu gives you a well-documented security stack and a predictable, well-resourced team that handles important patches and communication. Big Linux's security posture, the caveats, and strengths. What is Big Linux? Big Linux is a Brazilian distribution that has evolved over time. Historically, it started from Ubuntu slash Kubuntu roots, later offerings reference Deepin slash Cinnamon, and more recent builds or variants are described by some sources as based on Manjaro slash KDE. In short, Big Linux's upstream base has changed over time, and different releases may inherit different packaging and update models. Smaller team and community scale. Big Linux is maintained by a smaller, community-driven team. That can mean faster innovation or careful polish for desktop features. But it also usually means fewer people dedicated to formal vulnerability triage, CVE tracking, and cross-checking everything at scale compared with Canonical. Update model matters. If your Big Linux build is Manjaro slash Arch based, it will often receive newer kernels and app versions sooner. That can mean faster availability of upstream security fixes, but it also raises the chance of regressions and the need for more hands-on maintenance. Rolling release systems trade predictability for freshness. Practical effect. Big Linux can be secure, but its security profile depends heavily on which Big Linux release you use. Ubuntu-based versus Manjaro-based, and how much you trust and track its maintainers. Head-to-head, -head, common attack scenarios. Malware slash malicious app install. Ubuntu, Snap plus app armor limits what an application can access by default, and Ubuntu documents these confinement boundaries. Traditional APT packages, however, are not sandboxed. So installing from unknown PPAs or DEBs increases risk. Big Linux. If it ships many pre-installed apps and custom repos, common and user-focused spins, that increases attack surface. If it's rolling, Manjaro-based, it may get newer patches fast, but it may also pull in newer, less tested package revisions. Zero day or kernel issues. Ubuntu. Canonical's vulnerability triage, LTS support, and live patching options 
Reduce exposure windows for servers and managed endpoints. Big Linux. Exposure depends on upstream. Rolling variants may pick up patched kernels faster if upstream provides them and Big Linux integrates them quickly. But smaller maintainers can be overwhelmed by complex kernel CVEs. Social engineering, phishing, user error. Software choices matter less than user behavior. Both distros are only as safe as the user policies, installing unknown repos, executing downloaded scripts, and endpoint protections, 2FA, browser hardening, backups. Default posture and ease of hardening. How easy for average user to be safer? Ubuntu. Clear docs, GUI update tools, long-term support releases, LTS, and optional paid services, Ubuntu Pro. Make it straightforward for non-experts to keep systems patched and apply baseline hardening. AppArmor is available by default. Big Linux. Many Big Linux editions aim for it just works desktop polish, but hardening steps depend on the base. If it's Ubuntu flavored, many Ubuntu hardening tips apply. If it's Manjaro based, users should be comfortable with rolling release maintenance and reading update announcements. Practical, copy ready security checklist. Enable automatic security updates or check updates daily. Turn on app armor slash SE Linux where available and use confined packages, snaps slash flat packs for risky apps. Avoid random PPAs and third party repos. If you must use them, verify the publisher and GPG key. Use full disk encryption and a BIOS slash UEFI password, plus secure boot for laptops. Run a host firewall, UFW, and remove unused services. Backup regularly and test restores. Your backups are your last line of defense. For servers, consider Ubuntu Pro slash live kernel patching or a vendor support plan for high-risk deployments. The verdict, which is more secure? Short answer, Ubuntu is generally the safer default for most users and organizations because of its formal security processes, app armor plus snap confinement, clear CVE tracking, and enterprise-ready update tooling. Those institutional practices matter when you need predictable patching and accountability. Big Linux is not inherently insecure, but it's contextual. Its security depends on which Big Linux edition you choose, how it's maintained, and how comfortable you are with its update model. If it's an Ubuntu-derived spin, many Ubuntu hardening best practices apply. If it's a Manjaro slash rolling variant, expect faster upstream fixes, but be ready for occasional manual maintenance. Recommendations for viewers. If you run servers or handle sensitive data, pick a distribution with predictable patching and commercial support options. Ubuntu LTS plus canonical services is a strong choice. If you're a desktop user who values aesthetics and customizations, Big Linux can be a great polished daily driver. Just pay attention to the edition's base and be cautious about third-party repos. Regardless of distro, follow the checklist above. That's where real security gains happen. Which side are you on, fortress or flexibility? Drop your distro, setup tip, or horror story in the comments.